Because you're always about to say something. Every single time. That woman follows me, so don't say anything. Shit. Is it already on? Dagger! Get rid of it. No! You know why you think I'm holding this up for my house? I don't know. You do the same. The car smells like gas. I'm gonna gas you. Great. Can you shut your door one more time? Mm. She fed my belly, man. As if all oh, like a tick. <laughs> <laughs> like a pop. And little chicken poppers would come out. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I've eaten that much chicken in a year. You barely ate anything. I went over there like ten times. You ate like four little nuggets. No, I didn't. That's what's going to come like out of your booty, too. With four the gum. little nuggets. I've swallowed. Quit swallowing them gums. I told you not to do that. Why is your car parked behind us? I can't get out. Who? Mine? Oh. Now, why does the sun come out now when I don't want it to? And it was in when I needed to do headshots. Listen, we got two more looks. Keep it together. <laughs> Tires. You know what, though? I'm very, very excited that if she does um, acupuncture. What is wrong with your glasses? They look like you. <laughs> they look bad, man. <laughs> They're like all I got now. I got a pair of Cabrini. Oh, she's fast, Freddie. I should. <laughs> <laughs> I almost wore them today. Why don't you tell me glasses on top of my head too? Cause you always do that. That's the norm for you. I'm full of chicken, and it's not good. Listen. That's not all you're full of. <laughs> got a lot of chicken. Got a lot of chicken in me. What was I going to say? Oh, man. Oh, she does acupuncture for weight. I'm going to do that, too. I'm going to have a holy body, man. I'm going to have all kinds of nonsense <laughs> done. I'm going to have all kinds of crap done. It looks like Betty Boo. I don't care. She make my hip pain go away, and my booty pain go away, and she make me skinny at the same time. I'd be very happy. I'm paid not to hear about it. Quit being me, man. When your stuff starts to go, I don't want to hear stuff it. stuff is going. I can only wear tennis shoes. I have asked for Clark. Do shoes. I ever say anything that I don't want to hear about your nonsense? Do I ever say anything? No. <laughs> Gonna make, you're gonna give me whiplash. You I don't kill the kill lizard. lizard. Where'd he go? Where are we going? Oh, oh she's home. Crap. And it's windy. The house is loud. Huh? I gotta find somewhere else to go. Crap. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't know she was back. Let me try this on my string. My arm's starting to hurt. I gotta find somewhere to shoot now, man. Go find it. Get I it together. Oh, I'm struggling. That chicken's not going down very well. It's kind of dry. I ate it like a hungry dog. Had well, we always week. starve every time we work. You're gonna get tired after I eat it. I gotta find. I'm gonna see. I wanna go home and take a big old nap. And turn it that lady on. hasn't called us to tell us if we're working tomorrow. I'm gonna text her. Can I text her? Yeah. What do I say? Yo! Oh, did I miss the wrong street again? <laughs> oh, crap, I did. Oh, that's cute. I went down the wrong street. Well, crap, now I gotta turn around. That lady's gonna kill me. No, she won't. She's really nice. She don't okay. care. Well, Just take a little loop and fool her so she don't know we're actually going back to the other side. I think she's got a brain. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. I went the wrong street. Why did that lady have to be home? Because she lives there. <laughs> um, I know I What's that building right there? Right near my house. That, that's the hospital? hospital? Is that the one they closed down? Uh, Why they closed it down? I wonder if I could go back there. 
Does it say trespass? pass? No, the last time they threw it and there's somebody's working. I don't know. I just did wrong here. I'm not Fix I your think she's so mad. <laughs> Which way are you gonna go? Left? I gotta go left. That lady messed me up now. Is it cool that I said all that? Saw that face, Grandpa. <laughs> oh, I look just like that. That's perfect. Good. Look down if you need to. <laughs> right, you're, are you okay? Good. Look down. Is that batter on your eyes? I'm gonna armpit you. Oh, it's gorgeous. You're naughty today. You're so naughty. I got a fur. That's what you get. I that got... two of them. That's what you get. They hurt. For being surly, I was gonna stick you in the finger. It's not my fault. I stayed up till three a.m. You're not allowed to do that. Look at you. Look like hell too. <laughs> Well, I'm going to go get it. It's just so you don't have to hold it. Oh, you don't have I'm sorry. I'm not doing it. You do it just a way to see if you can put either hands up here or here. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want both hairs in front? Let me see. Let me know. Do you, oh, no, you look great. Bring your chin down for me, though. Do you want both of them in front? I think I like that. Bring in the hand. Bring it to the other side. Yeah, and then put it back to me. Chin down. Right there. Hold on. That one's good. So I'm on my way home now. My body hurts. I went to the doctor the other day for a follow-up and they told me that I have arthritis in my hip. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? So I was always, whenever I lay on my sofa, I'm thinking, well, maybe it's because my sofa's brand new and you know how the sofas, they're kind of hard. Well, I was thinking, oh, is that making my hip hurt? I know that sounds silly, but that's how hard this freaking sofa is. And she like, you know, lay on it for a, a while and then it gets all nice and mushy like the ones in the store so I was having hip problems so I went in and it turns out I have arthritis so that kind of like explains times where like because I had a hysterectomy I'm like a hot mess I'm telling you I had a hysterectomy because I have a lot of big fibroids and then they said which they didn't tell me at the time they told me that later your stuff starts to kind of drop because you don't have your your uterus holding the stuff up I'm like oh my god so my friend is her husband's a doctor so she was telling me that my stuff was dropping and that's why I was having pain in my groin which I actually asked my PA and she said yes you know that can happen so that's what I thought I thought it was just you know that's why I was getting that pain well that pain kept coming and coming and finally went to the doctor she told me I have arthritis after I had everything checked out so when you have arthritis in your hip eventually you're gonna need a hip replacement oh my god I'm like what I'm like you're not too young for that she's like no I'm like oh my god so so since I have arthritis in my hip bone that's why I'm getting pain 
like around my bottom and my groin because that affects all of that. Can you believe that? So I was dying. So now, you know, that is kind of getting worse. So every time I work for a long period of time and stuff, at the end of the day, my hip is killing me and so is my groin and every, can you believe that? I'm like, what else is gonna happen? Oh no, there is something else. So I know I've mentioned that I have thyroid problem. So now I have like two nodules in my thyroid. I'm like, oh my God, I'm falling apart. So that, thank God, didn't come out cancerous or anything like that. So I'll worry about that, but nothing's wrong you know it's not cancers or anything so so yeah so now when I get home from work my my body is my hip area and stuff, it hurts so bad so my husband wants to go out to dinner tonight I don't even know if I want to go to dinner because I'm not I'm not like I just want to go home and lay down I'm not wanting to go out with this pain because I can't enjoy myself and I'm so stressed out over it that it's like making me sick like my stomach hurts because I'm stressed out about, oh my gosh, what if I need a hip replacement? I don't do well with surgery or something worse. I start thinking all this stuff that's making me stress out and making my tummy hurt all the time. So that sucks. So yeah, so that's what's going on. Um, can you believe that? My friend is such a butt. <laughs> she goes, oh my God, you're going to be like the Jets since you're going to be bionic woman. I'm like, oh my gosh. I am and then she has all this stuff going so the older you get you get all this stuff thank God it's nothing worse you know it's it's nothing worse my neighbors are like who's she talking to it's nothing you know like what other people God you know forbid have you know that I know some of my friends are going through some really bad times so comparison to what they're going through but the pain is so horrible it's like my bone is grinding and I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm going to need a hip replacement before, you know, sooner than later. Because sometimes I can't even walk. It's really bad. Ow. So, yeah, so now I have to change my diet, which is actually going to be really good. I have to change my diet and stuff like that. Well, I think I was saying that I had a client today and she does, um, what is a, what is acupuncture I was gonna say where they stick you with the needles she does acupuncture so she said she's able to help me with that so I'm very happy to know that because I am going to call my doctor and I'm gonna see if I can get a referral to go see her because we have military insurance so I have to go through my doctor and then go she refers me out to her so I just saw my husband drive by. So yes, yeah, so I was very excited about that. And then she said she could help me like with my thyroid. So hopefully I could lose some weight because since I had thyroid, they didn't catch it. And I gained 20 pounds right off the bat. I'm like, there's something wrong with me. And they freaking didn't know what it was. And then I went to another doctor because well, it's your thyroid. I'm like, well, why didn't the first one figure that one out? So it's been a mess. So I gained like all this weight because of it. And you know, I'm not really insecure about my weight or anything like that. My husband is wonderful. He always says really nice things to me, you know. So I'm not, I've never been insecure about my weight or anything like that, you know. So I'm grateful for that because gosh, I gained like a ton of weight because of it. So that's what's going on. So I'm home. Now I'm going to go just lay on my heating pad. I know they say to alternate it between cold and hob. I can't stand. I can't even hold like a cup of ice because my hands start to hurt. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go lay down and on my heating pad because it feels good. <laughs>